Well, this is a crane lacing repair. The customer laid the crane over and some of the structural lattice um, sections are bent. You know, we assess what's damaged, take a look at it, uh, yeah. see what it's going to affect longer down the line, you know, if anything's going to affect what's in, in the way. And then uh, we like to cut, if we're like this, we'll cut the top to let it spring up or that way it doesn't pinch our tools or anything like that. Or, or hit us in any way and then we'll proceed to cut out the bottom section of it and uh, we like to put on a, a hard face grinding wheel and uh, take the old tube material off that's on here and uh, get it close and we like to buff it down with a buff wheel to uh, just where you can see a little bit of what's left of the old product so we can have a good spacing lineup to match like a witness mark and then uh, we place a new pipe in and then we're ready to weld. On the grind it down, we just get the old weld off there. Um, the weld wasn't an issue because it was a uh, bent, the, the pipe was bent, but uh, we like to get the old weld out so it's not hindering the, the placement of the new tube and just to work with a bare clean metal. If there's paint or grease inside your uh, area that you cut off, you know, it's going to affect your, your weld by getting porosity in there, uh, creating a void. Um, that can show up on an x-ray and just uh, weakens the structure integrity of the weld if you don't get all the contaminants out of out of the old weld. Uh, we're using a 9018-332 rod today. The filler metal that is required, and the reason it's required for the 9018 is because it's a, it's a super structure. They want to make sure that it's going to hold up to the tensile strength and they have these structurally placed where they need replaced and certain specs to use that rod. You don't want to cut out two next to each other because then it really springs apart because uh, they're so close. This one will hold the, this one together while you cut this one. We'll get this one in place and you know cut the next one. And you get jump side to side if it tw if it tweaks, you know it lets the bows out wherever is necessary so that's held up in the pipe. Well, for starters, we we tacked at the bottom and and at the top, and then we went on both sides of it with our tacks and welded them out, and then. Uh, I put two passes on the bottom on one side and I do two passes on the top on, on the opposite side and then vice versa to continue the weld on each other side of the pipe. Uh, all of our tools are running right off of the, the generator portion of it and everything works great with it.